everybody. I'm Kate Conroy. And I'm Vanessa Mattel. And this is Other People's Business, which is the podcast from the New Jersey Business and Industry Association, the largest statewide business association in the country. We release a new episode every other Wednesday, so be on the lookout for that. A better way to do that would be to just subscribe, you know. Um, shout out to New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance. They do home, auto, and workers comp, and they're the official sponsor of the show. So check them out if you need updated coverage. I got through all of that. So impressive, right? Yeah, it was amazing. And I'm still rocking the merch. Look how handsome my mug is. Oh, yes. We're gonna, we're gonna. I'm gonna hold this up. So here we go. There's my. Candle. I like it. Yeah, I know, right? Cute. This is, these, this is the most cute. adorable mug I've ever drank. We out of. I just got want you to know merch. And so, can yeah. I tell you that makes you really official? Cause like totally. Kelly and Ryan have merch. Like mm -hmm. all the best show Kelly duos. <laughs> all the best show so, duos yeah. have merch. We exactly. don't have merch. So I gotta tell you guys, I ordered. Um, I think five or six of them from Risa to do as gifts, and I gave Free them. Free gift baskets and embroidery. That's right. Yeah. If you want yours, you can just get in touch with yeah. them. Yeah. Um, and I gave it to one person, the first person this weekend, and you would think that I had handed her a golden doubloon. She was just like. <laughs> <gasps> I mean, but didn't you, though? Yeah. <laughs> you exactly. gave her a piece of you and your fame. Yes. I mean, exactly that right. is like, did you autograph it? I did. Mm. Well, I know because it's dishwasher safe, and so I didn't want to, like, yeah. You should have given it with a certificate of officiality and, and sealed, like, put a seal on it and everything so it's certified. We need to look into that. You, you know too. what's really bothering me right now? Bothering what? me? Bothering. <laughs> what's, what's bothering, bothering you, baby? So, because my face is on this thing and there's water <laughs> dripping out of it, I actually <laughs> see, like, the sweat going down my face. <laughs> It's like Vinny is like really stressed out right now. <laughs> That's Poor hilarious. Yeah. I wish I had like been aware. Aww. That was kind of funny though. No, it was kind of funny. All right, you're good now. All right, so we actually have never mentioned this on our show, but we have this thing at NJBIA called Chamberlink. And yep. essentially what it is, it's a reciprocal program where if you're a member of NJBIA, or you're a member of another chamber of commerce in the state of New Jersey that participates, you know, and you want to come to one of our events or you want to come to one of their events, you can pay the member price. So like at NJBIA, if you come to one of our events and you're a non-member, there's a non-member price. Or you can pay the member price if you're a member. Or if you are with one of those participating chambers but you're not a member of us, you can still pay the member price. That's really so cool. anyway, the Eastern Monmouth Area Chamber of Commerce signed up at one point to become a um, Chamberlink partner. Mm -hmm. And somebody on staff, Steve Wilson, sent me an email like, hey, you know, these guys have this podcast. They're a Chamberlink, you know, sponsor or partner, whatever you want to call it. You should totally check this out. So I did, and it was awesome. And so with us here today is Jennifer Eckhoff of the Eastern Mom with Area Chamber of Commerce. So say hi, let the audience hear your voice. Hi everybody. We're so excited you're here. Thank I am you. excited you're here. I'm like, it's weird being in the hot seat. I I'm know. Right? to being in the host seat, not the hot seat. <laughs> I know, how long has your podcast been going? Um, we started last fall. Last so fall? But yeah, about a year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're having your anniversary. Oh my gosh, we are. We'll have oh. to have a party on our next That's one, I guess. Great. Then. Yeah. Oh, we should have a party on our next anniversary. We should totally have a party. It's so, is I podcasting. You can come, yeah. <laughs> is the podcasting, it's the most fun. It's my, one of my absolute favorite parts of my job. Totally, 100% agree. Love it. Yeah. I love it. Hundo P. Yep. Love it. love it. Okay, today's icebreaker is, would you rather give a TED Talk or sing a song on stage with your favorite singer? Oh, I would so rather sing. Right. Yeah, well, you're a singer. You like to sing, right? I, I have a theater background. I had, you know, I've been dancing and pretending to sing my whole life. Mm -hmm. My kids sing. I don't think I'm very good, but I don't really care. Yeah, exactly. I enjoy That's it. Awesome. So everybody else might prefer I give a TED talk, but, <laughs> but I so would who, prefer to sing. Okay, so given that, who would it be and what song? Oh Is that my God. That's too no, but the, gosh, I mean, I could go. It would all depend. Do yeah. I want to go? Like, I was listening to The Bridge on XM Radio on the way down here today, uh -huh. and it's like all the 70s songs that I grew up with, and yeah. Rod Stewart was on, and I'm singing at the top of my lungs. <laughs> so it didn't even occur to me that it wouldn't be a Broadway song. In no, because you know what? I can't carry Broadway. My Ooh. girls can carry Broadway. I cannot carry Broadway. Gotcha. Oh, no. Do you have favorite Unless Broadway singers, though? Oh, do I? I do. I do. Yeah, okay. of course. Yeah. Kristen Chenoweth, Audrey oh McDonald. Oh, Kristen God, I like yes. her. I don't yeah. even know Broadway that well, and I know her. Oh, Kristen Chenoweth, yeah. And Audrey McDonald. Audrey McDonald is amazing. Oh, my God. Every time I hear her sing that song about 9-11, like, I lose my, you know. Uh, yeah. What I, Broadway musical is about 9-11? <laughs> It's not, actually. It's not she cheap. is known for Broadway, but there is a song called I'll Be Here, and it's mm -hmm. about um, falling in love and losing the person on 9-11 and then getting through that grief and finding someone. I'm getting all choked up already. It's like, um, it is a beautiful song, and it is beautifully done by her, 
And, uh, yeah, she's amazing. And there is a Broadway show about 9-11. Is there? There is. Yes. It's called Come From Away. Oh, of course. I've seen it. Yes. I wept I like have a not child seen through the whole it, thing. My daughter and I were listening to the soundtrack the other day, and it was awesome. I'm, I'm so glad Don't I make fun of her for crying. No, I'm not I making fun of her for crying. I just forgot about it. It's not set in New York, I mean, so I kind of forgot. It's just amazing to me that you could have that kind of emotional experience and then forget. You know, you're well, because like, I didn't forget. I just was thinking a, a 9-11 play would be set in New, New York, York, but it's but not. It's not. Oh, where is it set? It's set in Canada. It's about how all of the planes that were supposed to land in New York on 9-11 were diverted, and many of them were diverted to this tiny little town in Newfoundland in Canada. Is this true? Or is yeah, this it's a totally true story. It's true. Right. So the town went from about 8,000 people to 16,000 people overnight. And the town had to figure mm. out like what to do with all these people and how to feed them and clothe them and get them back where they're supposed wait, to go. How long were they diverted there? Because... I think a couple weeks. Yeah, I think really? I think from what I I mean yeah. I haven't read the story and I haven't seen the show yet, but from listening to the soundtrack, that's what it sounded like. Yeah. So if you were on one of those planes, um, you were sent to that town and they didn't let you leave for weeks. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it wasn't like a, they wouldn't let you. It was uh, they needed to get their logistics in order, figure out if it was safe again, and then once some mm. of the planes had landed, the soil was not. Great. They had to make do with like um, not a landing pad, but like terminals, and so figuring out how to take off again took some logistics. And if you think about, it, I mean, fl flights didn't come in and out of here for a while, right? So okay. they couldn't probably even get back in. Oh, uh, true. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly huh. right. Yeah. Okay, I can see that now. Yeah. yeah. I great. don't know anybody who hasn't seen that show who's who has seen that show who hasn't said it was just absolutely amazing. Yeah, it was. For a second there, I thought you were saying I don't know anybody who hasn't seen that show, and I was gonna be like, <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> I already said I haven't seen it, so that counts. Yeah. No, it was cold when I saw it, so I was wearing a scarf, and I was so glad I had it because I was, was like, wait for the I was, I was using it as a hanky the whole time. I can't get through hardly anything, especially live without I know, crying, because I, I am just like, what? I know. It's so emotional. I'm so emo. I know. I know. All right, so Sorry. Vinny, how would you answer? Like TED Talk or sing a song with your favorite singer? I think I would sing. Really? Yeah, I don't like tech talks. I mean, like, I, I like it in theory. <laughs> um, I'm actually not bad at getting up in front of a, a room and talking, but like, you know. I know, you and I have done it together. Ex oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, we have this you thing that do? we You know, we have this thing that we do now, apparently. Like, we go to schools. We, <laughs> we go to high schools podcasting. and we talk about uh, podcasting to journalism students. Awesome. I say we have this it thing is. that we do. We did it once and we have another yeah. one. <laughs> it's at a thing you do. Actually, okay. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is totally a thing we do. No. <laughs> Shout out to Delaware Valley Regional High School. Any uh, new fans we picked? up when we went there. That's you know? exactly right. You guys are awesome. And Union Catholic in uh, Fanwood is uh, going to have us in January, I yeah. think. Yeah, cool. I know, really upcoming cool. fans coming from that. I know, yeah. exactly. But yeah, 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 I would totally sing. I think it's a lot more fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who? It is a lot more fun. Who? Um, yeah. I guess it would be Green Day. Nice. I, I've told you this, actually, yeah. I think. Um, so I don't know if you've ever heard of the game Rock Band, where you like... Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so that game is convinced that the lead singer of Green Day, Billy Joe Armstrong, and myself are the exact same person. Well, that's oh, that awesome. is like, great. Throw it all the way up, like expert you know, vocals, and I, I can just be like slacking off and get 100%. Like, it's, nice. it's not even like... Yeah. Would you like to give us a sample? No, because I don't have the background music. Oh, come you know, on. It would sound awful. I can pull it up on my phone, right? Yeah, if you pull it up on your phone. No, but then we'll get the copyright strike. Uh, because oh, I right, guarantee right, you, right, you're right, you're right. We, can't we are do it. identical right. people, like, okay. as far as that game well, is Well, then you wouldn't be copywriting if you're him. Well, yeah, I guess, but I uh, don't know. Yeah. Billy, uh, Billy Joe would come out and be like, no, no, no. You are far less eyeliner. He's probably a lot cooler. <laughs> <than I. Yeah. laughs> far less eyeliner. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's probably what I would do. So I want to say that I would do the same, but I the reason that I don't have, the reason I've never, like, gone after this dream of, you know, regional theater. <laughs> regional theater, yes. <laughs> Is because I can't memorize stuff. Like, memorizing lines and memorizing lyrics is really hard for me. I think I would choke. If I knew that it was my favorite singer and we were going to sing something together, I would probably bring the lyrics with me. So <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> she would need a teleprompter. I would, I would want a teleprompter. I can't that do that. That would be so lame. I can't follow, like, karaoke. I can't follow the thing. Really? It's like I can't read it and sing it and hear it all at the same time. It's too much. I'd rather screw up the words. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, making up your own words to songs is always fun, too. Well, I may, yeah, my family will tell you I can't ever remember anything. <laughs> but I have done so much acting and stuff like that, so I guess I just don't think. But I've never had a lead, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I want to say that I would sing, but I'm worried that I would choke. So I guess I, I'm going to have to say TED Talk. What would you do the TED Talk on? I don't we'll even We'll call that the equivalent question to who would you yeah, sing with. Yeah. yeah. What would I even do the TED Talk on? 
No, you wouldn't. Uh, you wouldn't do podcasting, anything like that. You know? Well, I don't know that I'm an expert enough to rival the people who've already done TED Talks and podcasting. I mean, don't don't people like overlap? Uh, you know, things on that a lot. You I could suppose. do a t- TED Talk on how to create your own merch that becomes That's, golden. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do then. <laughs> podcasting and. Uh, Merch, making the merch work. <laughs> uh-huh. All right, so tell us what you do at the uh, Eastern Monmouth Area Chamber of Commerce. I love this acronym, EMAC. I guess EMAC. Right? EMAC. Yeah. Oh it's my God, great. do you know what it's like answering the phone? Thank you for calling the Eastern Monmouth Area Chamber of Commerce. How can I help you? Where'd you say you're from? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so we like to use EMAC. I like it. And I it's keep also- thinking um, in my head, ERMAC. It's a it's an old school video game nerd thing. Like you know, the, an error macro in a video game is an ERMAC. <laughs> and so I kept thinking that in my head, like, oh yeah, she's from ERMAC. We are not an error. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 I guess you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, we like to say EMAC too because Monmouth County is a pretty big county, and there's at least two Monmouth named chambers. I was actually going to ask you, is there a Western Monmouth no, area there's chamber? No, there's a Monmouth Regional Chamber of Commerce. That's got to so be we, co- yeah. yeah, so you say Monmouth and people go, oh yeah, I was at your event last week. I'm like, we didn't have an event last week. So, you know, to, mm-hmm. in order to try to keep them separate, I like to use EMAC. Yeah. And it's just more fun. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that makes sense. And it rhymes with our hashtag that we've used for two years, which is EMAC is back. Oh. I'm Why were you away that. for a while? Um, well, our chamber went through a huge change. Um, huge change. So um, I came, we had the same executive director who did a phenomenal job. She was with us for 26 years. So she left and we had an interim for about six months and then I took over in January of 2017. And at the time it was really needed to change with the times. We needed to really revamp a lot of what we'd done and stop doing things the way we'd always done them and do them differently. So um, you know, we had lost members, we had low attendance at things, and I am happy to report that we are kicking butt. That's awesome! So, Max back. Max, All right! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we, we, should write a, we should write a theme song. We should, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Then we'll be the ones delivering the uh, copyright infringements, Mac. Exactly! Ah! Yeah. There you go, there you go. You're gonna get like a letter in the mail like, wait, what? <laughs> you want royalties on this? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, so uh, it's been so much fun, though. It has been. My husband has been involved with the chamber for most of our marriage. We've been married 29 years, and so date night when we were younger used to be a ch- chamber event. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> adorable. He would have to go for work. <laughs> the work would pay for both of us yeah, to go. So yeah. his parents would watch the kids, and we'd go to a chamber event. So it it was nice coming back in to see so many of the people who had been there for so long that I knew over the years, going to various events with him, and then seeing all the new people join and getting to know new people and um it's just we have it's such a great chamber i mean and i'm not saying that you know it sounds like weird but you walk into the room and you sound a little just, biased i <laughs> am a little biased but you know what i swear i'm so happy bia is great too <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure it is yeah, yeah, yeah um it's kind of far from monmouth county it is yeah. kind of far so yeah. i have no idea where these things are yeah it's like geography of new jersey is a big weakness of mine you know like well, you guys are really right west <laughs> Yeah. You guys are like west, and we are northeast. We're yeah. we're really okay. like my house is a mile from the ocean. Oh, okay, and I live yeah, ten minutes from work. That's awesome. Oh. So you had a kind of a hike coming in here then. Yeah, I did. Oh, wow. But you didn't time me till a little bit later in the day, so I had no traffic. Zoom and oh. do that on purpose. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And where I work in Red Bank is really is a small little little tiny city. We it's love really, Red, Red Bank. Red Bank is so cute. Yeah, the parking is Can be a little. It, it, no, and you know what? It's not even really parking. You have to be willing to park and walk. It's like a little city town. Yeah. You have to be able to be willing to park and walk. Yeah. Um, but the traffic, mm-hmm. because if you try to leave at 2.30 or 3 o'clock and everybody else is picking up their kids and going to every indoor, outdoor activity and doctor's appointment and everything, it's a little nutty. So, of course, I, I help with that because I leave the office. My lunch hour is leaving the office to drive home to get my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, inter- I interrupted you before. I interrupted you. Oh, when you were talking about how awesome Emac is. So oh, yeah, it is. Going it like is that. awesome. I'm sorry. That's okay. I, I easily. We have a thing that we say <laughs> in our chamber. We do. <laughs> I oh, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Oh, squirrel. squirrel. <laughs> we do. Oh my gosh, we do because we all get along so well when we're trying to plan things, and then right. we just start talking. We're like, 
one of us has to be like the squirrel master yeah. who has to yell squirrel and it took us a long time but now we just yell squirrel and everybody comes back so yep. it's, it's working for us yep. now i like that yeah yeah we'll use that if nothing else just for this episode I love that. yeah squirrel well, so anyway, thrilled. it's just, it's a bunch of, you know, the people are so nice. They're so welcoming when you walk in. Um, they make fun of me because I'm just kind of want to, I have to warn people who want to join our chamber because you might get greeted with a hug. Wow. Yeah. It, handshakes are something I forget about because mm -hmm. I forget to be professional. Um, so I hug people. Yeah. <laughs> um, especially someone I've spoken to over the phone and then they show up for their first event. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'm so happy to meet you. And I hug them. And I'm a big hug. Yeah, um, yeah. Are you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's it's a little, people are a little taken aback, but then they get used to it. So, yeah, and this energy is kind of like me all the time. So it's a little overwhelming, but people can't sleep through anything we're doing and they can't really be sad or bored or disappointed when they come in because I make my staff then is like this because I'm like this. And then the other people who know me are like, oh Lord, here we go again. Okay, everybody up. And um, so it's just, and the people are just so nice. Mm -hmm. They're there, you know, and the nice thing about it is too, is they're there because they want to be there. Mm -hmm. So when you walk into a room, full of a room of people who want to be there because they want to meet people. They're going to meet you and welcome you. So it's just, it's really great. I really love it. That's awesome. I had to wait till I was very old to find my perfect job and I'm so You're happy. You're not that old. Uh, I'm old, but it's okay. <laughs> you are in a place in your life where you could, if you wanted, have 20 more years of this perfect, wonderful job. I That's could. You know what? You're right because now I've done all the things I've needed to do for everyone else in my life and now it's time for me and yeah. this is per, I am so happy. Yeah. Yeah. You want to you want to get that pause button, the yeah. life pause button, right? Oh yeah, yeah, we were talking about that in the last episode. Yeah, the life pause. Yeah, it was. It, you had a choice. It was either pause life or rewind life, and I picked rewind, even though like I didn't understand what they were getting at because I was like, you know, I'm constantly fumbling over myself. <laughs> like I could just like rewind a couple seconds and not have dropped that thing that I was balancing or something. Exactly. Yeah, but I missed the point of the entire conversation. Right. Oh, that's I'm sorry. sorry. That's no, no, sorry. it's fine. But yeah, but you're in a awesome. pause. So. Yeah, yeah. That's Phenomenal. It's great. I love it. I'm so happy. And then people I've known my life will say, I'm, they'll like, oh, no, and I'll tell them, they go, oh my God, that's the perfect job for you. And whoever would have known, I wouldn't. My husband knew, I guess. That's uh -huh. what I have to say. He recommended me for the job, and he was right. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, that's fabulous. All right, so I think we're going to take a quick break, and then when we come back, we're going to play a game. Cool. Okay, I like games. Okay, we're back, and it is now time to play my favorite game, Awful or Awesome. I'm going to name three things in quick succession, and we each have to decide quickly if they're awful or awesome, and be prepared to defend your answers. Are we ready? Yes. I'm ready, yeah. All right, spelling bees. Uh, wow. Um, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, of course they are. Sure, yeah. And I love how they're now on ESPN. Oh my gosh, are they Like, on the ESPN? National Spelling Bee is, is broadcast on ESPN, the sporting network i love that they've they're basically recognizing spelling bee as a sport i guess any competition kind of. that's kind of cool yeah, i well, love it is a competition so yeah. that's pretty cool totally awesome you ever see that movie with uh, jason bateman bad words yeah yes. <laughs> that's yes. the first thing that popped in my mind i was like that movie was awesome so. <laughs> it was awesome did he have spelling bee with bad words because that yes. would be kind of well, no so the idea was that like he was an adult <laughs> who found a loophole that he could compete in like children's spelling bees and he was deliberately like trying to um I guess, like, it would be a spoiler to say why, but he was trying to, like, deface the, the thing, you know? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, like, he wanted to just, like, um, make it a, an embarrassment of the whole thing, so, yeah. He had some childhood bitterness left yes. over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because he, like, never graduated from the eighth grade, so he was like, right here, it says that if you haven't, you know, passed the eighth grade yet, you know? Yeah, wow. it, was good. it was funny. Anyway, you have a, a spelling a story, though. I have a, a but, yes. So, to first tell me spelling bee is awful or awesome, S and then... So I think they're awesome. Okay. But if it had been me back in the day, it would have been horrible. I was going to uh -oh. say, I've never actually competed in one. But no, I no, no, I didn't either. But mm -hmm. there was a big reason. Tell, tell me okay. why. Tell us so, why. So I was born in Tennessee. Okay. And my parents were born in Tennessee. And then in second grade, I moved to New Hampshire. So if you think about the dialects, in Tennessee, they talk really slow and mm. sweet, and everything mm. sounds a little different. That is perfect, actually. Thank yeah. you. It's bred and born that way. Okay. Oh, sure. my goodness. And then when you go to New Hampshire, you park your car, 
and you live in the neighborhood and everybody comes around and it's I can't do that one as well I was gonna say I, yeah, yeah I can't do that one as well but um but then I don't know what this voice sounds like so you well, can be ha- telling me that you're speaking in a New Hampshire yeah but right uh, I'm not right really but it's d- very different okay okay so uh, I got to third grade and I had to do my spelling tests and my mom would go over all the words with me and I'd get them a hundred percent right and then I'd go to school and I'd fail because the words my mother told me didn't sound a darn thing like the words the teacher said. I never thought about how accents could affect Yes, that, and so my mom and my teacher finally met, and they decided that I should get my words in a sentence. That was not a common thing many back in the Stone Ages. So, you know, <laughs> back in that the was day. back in the day, that was not a thing. It's a thing now. Like, legally, you have to give, as a teacher, you have to give them the words in a sentence. Mm-hmm. But because I didn't, I understood the sentence, Mm. so I could understand the word that she was finally giving me. Mm. But before that, but my mom and my teacher came up with that. Like, I couldn't spell, I knew the difference between a pen and a pin, but they were said pens. Wow. You want to write with my pen? Do you need a pen? I absolutely need a pen. Do you need a pen? For no other reason to get it away from Kate. Not cool. Kate uh, likes her notes. I know. Give her back her <laughs> hashtag not cool. Very well. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. It's the special pen. It's exactly. the special pen. I even use this pen just for you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. So spelling is t- always tough for me. I still struggle a little bit, but I'm much better at it now. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. such an interesting story. Yeah. It's, you don't think about those things. No, I don't. I, I'm, I'm thinking like... Southern in particular, like Southern accents, like they drop so many letters, like non would be like nine. They no, drop they them say nine. Yeah, like yes becomes yay yes. Yay yes. Yay yes. So there's the, like at least an A in there, you know. I mean, it's like a three <laughs> syllable word by yeah. the time they're done with it. I remember <laughs> I was in sixth grade and we were reading a story that took place in a mining town and I asked my mother if she would come in for show and tell. And she goes, what, what do you want me to talk about? And I said, it doesn't matter, you just have to talk so the kids can hear your accent. She was so mad at me. Wow. It was terrible. Now I'm sure if we went out there, everybody would be like making fun of us for our New Jersey accents. Oh yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Right in, if you're, if you're listening mm-hmm. to this in Minnesota and you're just like, what? Well, yeah, yeah everybody makes fun because when I said we finally had a live listener to our podcast and everybody goes, oh, that's cool. And it took me like, then like three weeks later, I announced that it was my cousin in Tennessee. <laughs> And they're like, oh, so then we took a picture when I was visiting him and they, we actually posted it. And our one Tennessee fan from our podcast. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I love it. Okay, uh, next up, ride or die Disney Park fans. And I don't mean Disney fans, but I'm talking about the families who go to Disney every year for vacation for like 20 years in a row. Y- your family, basically, for Awful. example. Awful, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but... <sighs> So my family wasn't like ride or die Disney. Um, it was just that my grandparents lived in Florida. Right. You make it sound like they were though. No. Well, like, okay. You're right. So like, oh, you're right. if I'm you're there, throw... you're not gonna not go. Yeah. I take it back. I'm sorry, but go ahead. No. So like, <laughs> my brother. This is how I kind of found out about these kinds of things. Like, my brother is basically that. You know, he's a, a ride or die, and I didn't realize how much of a culture it was until I went out there with him and like went. But yeah, it's 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 a whole thing. Um, and then after he, you know, I, I learned about it from him, I started noticing it like more and more on Facebook. Like, you know, people would be like, oh yeah, I'm going to Disney. And I'm like, didn't she post pictures from Disney like six months ago? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then like, oh, and I'm going again. And you're like, oh, really? Again? Yeah. There's more to do there? I, I used to know a couple who went to Disney World on their honeymoon and then every vacation thereafter was Disney World. And uh, I was just baffled by that. Yeah. Like how much it costs, how little of the world you're seeing, how manufactured... You can go to Epcot. I mean... (laughs) (laughs) I'm not even going to give that to you. No, 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 because that's the argument I've received. Oh, Oh, okay. God. Sorry, okay, we're stomping all over this answer. You go. Well, uh, it's just... So, I... So, am I... What do I... uh, Awful or awesome. awesome. And I know that you're a Disney fan. Yes. But but going to Disney every single year is awful. Or any opportunity you get. Any opportunity It's awful. Right. Awful. Planning to go there once a year is awful. And I say this with all the love in my heart. My in-laws, that is what they did. Oh. Oh, That is what they did. My husband has been to Disney. I can't tell you how many times. My children would go to Disney in a heartbeat. I say to them, there is so much more of this country alone besides the mm. whole world to see. We are not going back again this year. Actually, we are going back in this <laughs> <laughs> But only because my daughter wants to look at schools in Florida. Mm. So, okay. Um, okay. yeah. 
but and you know and we do have family that lives there so yes when we would be there we would go mm. but I'm like we are not planning another full Disney vacation every year every three years I'll go because mm. I do love it right I love it and it's fun and it's happy and it's always a different experience depending on what ages you are sure and I've been there without my kids and we've had wonderful experiences but like there are so many other things to see in this world and We've had some phenomenal experiences when we finally got away from Disney to see some other things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So speaking as someone who's never been to Disney. Oh, now see, that's sad, too. No, the closest I've ever got is, like, the Disney store at the mall. Wow. Uh, isn't that sad? It She's is a little been, sad. Though, like, as a sad, kid, you should have gone. Yeah. I know. Well, my, we, we were um, a working class family. We didn't take a week-long vacation anywhere. Like, that wasn't a thing that we did. Right. We went on long weekends, a drives up. Car drive away. Oh God, I can't say it. Um, mm. A day's drive, ish, away from the house. Right. And we would see like a new part of Wisconsin, or you know. Oh, so you grew up in the Midwest. <laughs> yes, yes, I grew up in the Twin Cities. Cool. In Minnesota, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Cool. Exactly. So which is part of the world I've never seen yet. It's beautiful. Oh, I've heard. It's a beautiful part of the world. Yes. But so Disney was never really part of the 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 list of options, and so we didn't really. We weren't bitter about it all. We were just like, okay, so we're going to Red Red Wing, Minnesota <laughs> for a long weekend. And we didn't. We had a really, really fun Meanwhile, time. Meanwhile, I would have loved to go on to Red Wing, Minnesota as it's a kid. It's great. Let me tell you, yeah. Have you ever heard of the Red Wing boots? No. They're manufactured but there. But I, I don't know it because we went to right. Disney all the time. Right. <laughs> or, or Winona Knits. It's a very fancy knitting Anyway, um, Winona Knits is located in Winona, Minnesota. Mm. Yeah. So anyway, um, never been to Disney. Don't really miss it. Don't think I'm I'm missing well, out. Well, as anything. an adult, you know, you wouldn't. But like, yeah. But as a kid, it would have been amazing. Kate, yeah. Oh, little Kate. Yeah, she's fine. She's fine. She got over it. <laughs> she got over it. She did great. <laughs> she did great. <laughs> All right. Let's no, you know what? It, okay, real quick before yeah. we leave that, they have these things where like you can kind of schedule when you're going to go on the rides. That's kind of a bummer. How is that a bummer? Wow. Fight, fight. No, no, no. Because what I was going to say is <laughs> so, like, by doing that, you know, we went for like two days this, uh, about a month ago. We were in Disneyland and, you know, like, through using the app, we got on everything, you know, in those two days. So I was like, no need to do this again, you know? Like, well, I feel like if you've been, I feel like if you've been there, that's great. Mm -hmm. But there's something to be said for the old days. When you just meandered through the park and you waited in line and you enjoyed everything. Yeah, but there's so to... many people now that I you can sit in a line it's for true. like three hours, you know, it's and then that's your true. day. That's it's crazy. true. And it's true. Sure. I think yeah. to do Disney right, we're really, boy, are we giving them a lot of creds here. It's okay. Um, but Free plug, right? To, yeah. we've, um, we've talked trash about them enough that they deserve okay. it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, to, but I think to do Disney World right, it's a minimum 10 day vacation. Oh, my God. Wow! And All right, break that park. down for me. <laughs> I, no, don't ask me. I don't know. I don't. I don't have to calculate that. I'm just yeah. saying minimum to do it right, I was really say, those well. Those two days were not cheap. So. No, like 10 no. Oh my God, it's a lot of money. It's ridiculous. But if you want to really, truly enjoy wow. Disney, that gives you time to go out into the park in the morning. Sure. Come back and swim, and when it gets hot, okay, so take a little nap, the then right. go back in the afternoon, then come back and get ready, and then go to a different park for a really nice dinner. You get to that way you can see all the shows because they have oh. so many shows in all the parks too. It's not just about the rides, right. you know. And then they, then you might want to stop, and there's a little street show going on that wasn't even planned, and you want to see that, and you know. And then you have to you. I mean, you can fast pass it and do all the rides that way too. But mm. there's something to be said for just taking it nice and slow and not pushing yourself through it, and then. And that way, 10 days would give you time to do all, because oh, there are five parks, four, there's Epcot. Yeah, so I, I hadn't Kingdom. even thought about Florida. I was thinking, like, I was just in I've California. Never been to, I've never been to Disneyland. Yeah, yeah, I've never been to Disneyland, so I can't speak to that one. But to, to do Disney World in Florida, sure, I right. think, I really do. Okay. Wow. Sorry. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. You and I were talking earlier sure. about Sesame Place and uh, how yeah. your current family, not your parents, right. but right, your right, immediate yeah. family currently, yeah. has a similar obsession. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say me per se, right. but Tara and Chloe have gone 12 times in the last, like, three months. So, they or, uh, let's last. just say, like, this, the summer, yeah. yeah. And now she's, like, as much as I, like, make fun of the Disney culture people, like, she is, like, sesame cultured herself. You know, to the. I mean, if it had to be one or the other, I'm so glad it's Sesame. Sure. Yeah. Sesame yeah. is educational. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Although I noticed, like, Chloe is not so much into the non education or, or the educational parts. You know, like, um, 
Well, so, for example, she? she's two. I was like, please tell me it's your daughter, not your wife. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I get the impression that a lot of this is for her, too. You know? like, <laughs> but, yeah, no, so, like, Chloe will love to watch the, uh, like, the movies that they're in and, like, all that. And they're not taking the time to go, like, all right, let's talk about the letter A, you know, in the middle of the movie. You know, so I'm like, uh, we got to, like, transition her out of that. But then, like, Look, we she's throw on... only two. Yeah, she's yeah, only two. Guess, but if she makes her sing the alphabet while she lit, stays in in line, that'll work. Exactly. Huh? I've never been to Sesame Place. Oh, it's it's actually nice. I mean, I wouldn't say you need ten days. No. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I went to Hershey Park. I mean, Hershey Park's Hershey nice. Park's nice too. Yeah, I've never been there either. Oh my gosh, you know, I don't know if it's oh still God, this way. What do you do? Like, you you might camp yeah. in your backyard. She's like, what do you do? Real <laughs> vacations, like the yeah. Grand Canyon. I mean, no, oh my I God, do. that's like one of my favorite vacations now. The Sedona, Grand Grand Sedona, and the Arizona, Beautiful. and the Grand Canyon, and Hoover Dam. <gasps> yeah. Hoover yeah. Dam, once you've done it once, I feel like... Uh, yeah, I've only done it, it once. Again. Yeah, but and the Grand, Grand Canyon... You know what's beautiful. awful about the Grand Canyon? I've done it twice. I went to the same part of the canyon. The both times... I don't know. Whatever thing, one's, like, whatever one's closest rock. to Flagstaff <laughs> as you drive down into Sedona, because we've done it going to Sedona okay. both times. Okay, so. I did it coming from Vegas, and so it's the South Rim. Okay. Same view, and you know it's... Well, okay. we did that because we came from Vegas, hit the Hoover Dam, yeah. did the South Rim, and then went on down to Sedona. That was so our first same, trip. Yeah, exactly. So... It's beautiful and awe-inspiring and magnificent and majestic, but after an hour, you're like, yeah. What else is there to do in town? Like nothing. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. nothing. And bonus or not, because the elevation is like seven thousand feet, we live at sea level, right? Right. So I had a glass of wine with dinner, and I was like on the floor. It was. Wow. Not pretty. I did not know that that could affect that. Yeah, apparently, yeah. elevation uh, and yeah. alcohol do not mix well. Wow. Like, not unless you're used to it, apparently. Yeah, I was going to say. Like, oh, my goodness. I don't remember that night at all. Oh. Yeah. I mean, oh. I was with someone that I, you know, trusted. I, I didn't get roofied. I didn't. I'm not saying that I'm worried. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> squirrel, right? Squirrel, squirrel. Squirrel. All right, all right, all right. Uh, last we one. climb on the roofs. It's all the same. <laughs> we climb on squirrels on the roofs. Yeah, there we go. We're good. Last one. Celebrity baby names. Oh, that's just awful. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I mean, every time I hear that Kim Kardashian had another baby and named him, like, Saint or North or mm. West or, I don't know. Like, whatever. I, Come on. Right. I'm agreeing get with your, you on this. Get when your stuff Paltrow's together. too, there was Apple and there was Moses. Moses. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, you just can't do that to a kid. Like totally agree. Everybody assumed that when I had Chloe, I was gonna name her something like really geeky, like she was gonna come out like Zelda Civitello or something. And I was like, <laughs> I can't Why? do that Why to would a child. Do that? Yeah, like uh, first of all, I kinda learned that from the dog. Like, you know, <laughs> as often as I scream out Luna in front yeah. of like a large group of people, right. you know, you don't wanna be like screaming. And that's a out. common dog name. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, 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 no. But like, I just imagined myself calling something out, like Zelda. Yeah, Zelda. It's like, it's like the mean? line from Singing in the Rain. Uh. Zelda. Oh my God, I love that movie. That's right. Sorry. Sorry. No, 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 another musical it's sidetrack. Like, um, Nicholas <laughs> Cage it. named his kid Cal El. That's like Superman's alien name. That is just like the worst thing. Who, you could possibly and who know. knows that Superman's? I mean, yes, there's yeah. a group of people who know that Superman's alien sure. name, but not the majority of people. Most I mean, people don't. I, I feel That's like ridiculous. it's better if you don't, right? Right. Like, of course. Then you can just be Cal. But you remember Frank Zappa? Named his kid Moon Moon's Unit. unit yeah. It's yeah, terrible. But that was, I mean, it, but that was Frank Zappa, so yeah. it was understandable. Well, mm. kind of, but then, still awful. but now, no. yeah, now I'm with you on that. Kevin That's Smith awful. with uh, Harley Quinn Smith. Yeah. I did not know that, and I wish I did not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have preferred God, not to on. know that. Especially yeah. my connections here, so we sure. should not have mentioned that one. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I, I wasn't sorry. knocking yeah. it per se. I mean, Harley is a very nice name. It is. It but, is you know, like, name. I know there was a while there where she used to say, like, I'm not so much into that stuff, you know? And so, like, to carry that around with you, like, all that stuff. Like, Cal L. Cage. Like, if you're not, like, really into it. I'm, if he's I'm not into it, he's going to have to answer questions the whole rest of his life. Yeah. And it's going to be him being like, God, yeah. I bet you love Superman. No, I really don't. My dad I wasn't there it. for the naming, you know? Yeah, they didn't ask me, and um, I was yeah. like this big. Yeah, um, and my name's like this in the will, so I'm not going to change it legally. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's just yeah. awful. Like you can't do that to another human being. I agree. Like, yeah. 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 All right. Cool. So, um, coming back around to chambers, uh -huh. it occurred to me that there is probably a significant portion of our audience who has heard the word chamber of commerce, but doesn't really know 
what a chamber is, what it does. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? I do, because we struggled with that when I first started. Oh. Because, yeah, we did, because we're like, people think of the Chamber of Commerce as where your grandpa used to go. Right. You know? It's a very 1950s idea. Yeah, and our chamber has been around since 1928, mm. so we are the oldest. We got you beat, 1910. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, well, we're the oldest one in Monmouth County. Okay. All right. That's good. Continually running. I no like stops it. in between. Yeah, no stops in yeah, between. Yeah, all right, cool. So, um, yeah, so we um, we struggled with that because we're like, okay, especially with all the social media and, you know, people are like, well, we don't need to go to an event. We don't need to go somewhere at a chamber. What do you belong to the chamber for? So we did a whole lot of research and found out that um, there was a big study done a while ago that people tend to trust a chamber of commerce. Mm -hmm. So if you are a member of a chamber of commerce, people tend to trust that more. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the reasons that we like to have our chamber of commerce is because, you know, I get phone calls from all over the country. And that's not, we're not talking about my cousin in Tennessee. We're talking serious, we're talking people we don't know from mm -hmm. all over the country, California, um, out west, mm -hmm. like people who are looking to relocate to the area. And who do you call when you want to relocate to the area? Chamber you call, call your Chamber of Commerce because they know everything. But we can't know everything. So what we can know is our members, who joins, who's active. We can speak to their quality and, you know, the type of business that they are and the type of person that they are. And, you know, by listening to your voice on the phone and the things you're telling me, I would give you... Um, real estate agent A versus real estate agent B because I know both of them and I think based on what you're telling me this person can handle that better. Yep. Um, not that I'm always hand choosing but for example that's an example. Um, I don't want anybody to listen to me thinking I have favorites and I'm no, picking no. that but you know it's it really is so a chamber of commerce is really where you businesses come together to network to build referrals coming into them and going out to them. Mm -hmm. um, people often say to me, your, your chamber is so finance world heavy. I mean, it is. We have every bank. We have every financer. We have every mortgage person. We have, but there are so many people more than those people that we have in our chamber that need those services yeah. that oftentimes you can't help someone. You know, for some reason, your bank has just come up with a rule or your mortgage lender said we have too many of these types it's higher risk you need to know if you've already built somewhat of a reputation with someone you need to know who do you trust to send that person to that's right and then that person's going to have a situation where they're going to have to send a person to someone else so it builds a you know it's people in your own industry as well as people in other industries that you develop these relationships with and you know said my husband and I first started doing this 29 years ago or 25 years ago and those people are people we still know and those people are people that he refers business to that refer business to him that if somebody new comes into the chamber it's somebody I can go right away and say this person knows a lot about the chamber and if you're in this industry this person really can help you know how to make the most of your membership because joining a chamber is not just getting the sticker on your window mm -hmm. um, you can do that we'll take your money we're happy <laughs> but if you want to be happy we encourage you to attend networking events, to meet people, join committees because a chamber is run by its members. Mm -hmm. So the more things, the more people we have involved, the more, pr more programs and more events we can provide. Um, our chamber is also working on um, trying to get more involved with our nonprofit members. So we're giving back to our nonprofit members and the community by doing events. We have an event coming, well, that's gonna be aired after that time. I guess this that, is going to be aired November 20th. Okay. So is it before that? So, yeah. So what we're doing is before that, but we have another one we're doing in December. We just don't have a date for it yet. But we've, so we've reached out to a couple of our nonprofits and said, hey, look, how can we encourage, um, how can we support you by um, doing something for you? So actually things we've done in the past has been, we had Christmas in July this year mm -hmm. instead of our Christmas party. And we had a, we were at doing a four-part winemaking. So it was the last night of our winemaking, and we were bottling and labeling our wine. And we put up a Christmas tree. We had all decorations. We sold Christmas balls, and whatever level Christmas ball you purchased and put on the tree, all that money went to Clean Ocean Action. So we picked a charity to do it for. Um, we're helping do some yard work and decorate a room in a house for Covenant House for Rites of Passage in Asbury Park. We're going to be doing something with CASA in December. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so, and we've done stuff for lunch. 2019 Inch ABIA Awards for Excellence winner. That's right. Yay, awesome. Um, and we're going to be doing stuff, we've done stuff for lunch break in the past. So, you know, we're really trying to up our community help as well. Um, 
and it's just I don't know it's like being part of a chamber gives you a sense of belonging mm -hmm. and the one thing that I hear is people like well I don't want to come to an event because I don't want to stand up and I don't want to walk into a room that I don't know anybody mm -hmm. I don't want to stand up in front of anybody and say who I am um, we do you know a lot of people do that 30 second commercial <laughs> yeah we don't do that all the time so we mix up our networking and icebreakers, and um, so we have a and we have a system where if you come into our room and you've never been there before, we have someone greeting you and taking you to meet a, bo a board of director, a director on our board, um, and then that director will introduce you to someone else, and so you're never walking into a room and you're going to be alone, going, who do I talk to? Yeah. Who do I talk to? Um, because we don't want you to feel that way. We want you to feel welcomed, and so that's one of our processes that we use, and then we. Um, I forgot where I was going to go. Did you hear when that happens? I had a follow-up, though. Go ahead. So, Good. Get it, hit me. <laughs> when you say you were making wine, I know this has nothing to do with uh, Oh, no, but it was like, such a fun... How far in the process were you like... Okay, so what we did was, normally making wine takes a really long time. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was going to say, like, how right, much of this right. do you do? Yeah. So what we did was, instead of making our own wine, mm -hmm. we made wine for the place where the winemaking takes place. Oh, okay. So we replaced what his stock he had. So we could go through the process faster. Gotcha. Mm. But the reason we chose to do something like that is we said, what if we have an event that is the same event four months in a row, mm -hmm. have people sign up for the same things, and that way you're doing the event, so you're doing something together as opposed to just coming and chatting. Mm. You're involved in an activity together and you're doing it four times in a row, so you're with those same people once a month four times. And you get better and better at it each time, too. The what, wine will get a little better. The, <laughs> so, you know, the first time we pick the grapes, second time we crush the grapes, uh. um, the third time we. Real quick, because I'm imagining them. like. Um, no, Lucille Ball. we were not Lucille. <laughs> they had, no, we could have chosen to do that, but we were, since it wasn't our wine, we didn't want to put yeah. our feet in somebody else's wine. Fair, yeah. So, so like yeah, so you, there's machines, okay. which was really cool. Um, and then we, um, I forgot what it was called, but you had to stir the wine sort of in the big buckets and sure. aerates and you have to, because the sediment has to settle and you have to move the wine around. Mm. So we did that one night in these humongous buckets. And then um, the last time was pouring and bottling and labeling. Okay. Um, so that's what we did. And it really, we did not have a whole lot of people join us for that part, but everyone who did said it made such a difference in the relationships you developed because you really did get to know those people each time and then we had those were all open after hours as well so other people would just come for one event we always we had dinner because i wasn't going to have anybody drinking without an, on an empty stomach sure. yeah. it's my personal thing yeah. so um we had catered dinners um we had and it was in the winery itself which is a great is called grape beginnings which was in eaton town but has moved up to um i think up near grape beginnings grape beginnings That's awesome um i think they've moved up to secaucus up near uh -huh. the um New York? The big fun place. The American Dream? Is that that? Yeah, but the, uh, up near that area. Okay. Is that the new name of that new mall? This is the new mall. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the one. The American okay. Dream. Um, is that I, the one with I, the Nickelodeon I, place on yes, it? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. I, I heard about that a little bit. I don't know much. Yeah, but, yeah. it opened it's, officially last week. Did it? Yes. I want to go. I mean, it's awesome. It's, I heard it's got a, a ski slope and a huge wow. full-size Ferris wheel. Yeah. And like a t I just used to call it Xanadu. So I yeah, well, because like, that's what it was called. Was it originally Xanadu, yeah, but they changed it, it to American Dream now? They did. Okay. Because it's gone through several iterations with yes. different owners and different plans and different... Yeah, it's still not the biggest mall. No, Mall of America. Mall still of is. America, mall. Yeah, your mall. That's, that's exactly right. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yep. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I wouldn't so. mind seeing it just so that I can say that I've seen it. But yeah. It's amazing to me how they start gouging you like right from the beginning. Do they? Well, because um, Mall of America, it's free to park, and it's not free to park at the American Dream. What? How can you have a mall that's not free to park Oh, at? you know what it is probably? Because if they've got the amusement park on it, like, you know, we're, exactly we're right. used to being able to say, like, okay, I'm, I'm willing to pay 20 gonna, bucks to park at an amusement that's park. That's right. They're still going to make you pay uh, for, like, the rides and all of that in addition to the But so, like, parking. people who don't go into the amusement park part of it, you still have to pay just park. to go to, like, yeah, Nordstrom? I'm that's, pretty that's sure. Lame. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Okay, so I shouldn't I shouldn't, shouldn't say, say that because you don't know if it's positive. Right, mm. but I've heard multiple times that that is the case. And wow. it started as one price and it's already already gone up. Well, I guess it would have to be because, like, how many people would just say, like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to the park part, but then you really do, you know? Yeah. yeah so. Yeah. Ugh. Oh. I know, well, right? they have years of money lost to make up for. So they do. Like, 20 years oh of God, money right? lost. Right? I know. Yeah. They've been building that for so long. I know. Huh. 
It's been a long time. Yeah. 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 Anyway. All right. So if this airs November 20th ish, mm -hmm. what's coming up that you want to promote? I think you mentioned a December well, event. Well, so we have our December event. We don't have a date for it yet. We're still waiting to hear back from Casa on what they would like us to do for them to uh -huh. help. But it will be combined somehow with our Christmas party. Because even though we had Christmas in July, we still have to do something at Christmas time or holiday time. Oh, of course. Christmas too. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, but our biggest event that we're gearing up for right now is you said your winners. We have winners called Spinnaker winners. What's a Spinnaker? A Spinnaker is a big is a type of sail on a boat. Okay. Oh. And since we're at the you know by the shore, sure, we do the whole boat I get thing. The, uh, yeah, yeah I'm, you I'm got it. You. Got it. I'm okay. With you. I like so, it. So yeah. So um, we have eight awardees. Please don't ask me to name them all because I didn't sure, memorize no it before I got here. But they're awesome. Um, and we do. We recognize local Monmouth County businesses and people who go above and beyond to give back to the community and the chamber. Um, we are really excited about one award we have this year. I mean, we're always excited about our awards, but we have a new award this year called the EMAX Next Generation Leader Award. Mm -hmm. So we have a new group that started ENG, EMAX Next Generation. And um, that is the group of people who are either starting a new career, they're starting a new career, whether it be their first, second, third career. They're starting a new career and they are looking to network and build their future network. Okay. So, you know, you still get, the, and you get the benefit of having all the people, the, you know, the number of members that we have to ask questions and learn from in your starting your business and your career networking. And um, so it's like an amazing value that you grab from that. And then the members who have been, are a little older and have been there for a while, have the opportunity to learn from people who are younger because there's, it's such a different culture. Um, and to learn it is gonna be important for everybody getting along. So um, that's just getting started. We're doing new things with that, but we decided to recognize one of our leaders in that area this year. That's great. And so we're really excited about that. Cool. Nice. So yeah, so that's January th 29th at the Sheraton. Um, sponsorships are available. It draws over 200 people. Um, consistent, well, consistently it's drawn over 200 people this year. You know, with me, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and all our amazing winners and our committees and all that stuff, and just how much EMAC is growing. We hope to have over 200 people there in attendance. So Phenomenal. the Sheraton is a chain, right? So there could be more than one of those. Yeah, Which this town? is. A, I'm sorry, this is the Sheraton in Eaton Town. Cool. Yeah. yeah, thank you. <laughs> we actually do events at the Sheraton in Eaton Town. Isn't it awesome? It really I was going to say that was the first one that popped to my yeah, mind. Yeah, because they just they just revent renovated. They re did. Re renovated. Re renovated. Re renovated. <laughs> <laughs> Reinvented and renovated. No, they yes. renovated. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, shout out, last year I stayed over. Oh. Okay. Because, you know, when you run an event, yeah. you're there late. Everybody else gets to go home, but you still have, you're late and you still have all your stuff. Yep. Yeah. So, and you're there, you know, the other part is you're there getting ready mm -hmm. and you're into the last minute, so I'd have somewhere to change. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, you know what? I'm treating myself to a night. Wow. Mm -hmm. The rooms are amazing. Free I'm plug for the share. Amazing. Oh, that is good <laughs> yeah. Know. So I highly recommend it. Okay. Yeah, it's nice, and they're easy, they're really lovely to work with too for big they events are. and stuff. I they agree. really oh, are. They're yeah. great. All right, so yeah. let's say, you know, somebody wants to join EMAC or, you know, maybe get involved or come to one of your events. How can they get a hold of you? So our website is emacc.org. Okay. emac.org. And if you want to check out our events, you just go to events and there's a calendar. It has everything on it. You click on the day and that takes you right to our registration. So you can register right online to come to anything. Um, and, and keep in mind, if you're a BIA member, you can go for the member price. And or if, if you're it, an EMAC member, you can come to one of our events, get our member price. Right. Too. And if you're a BIA member and it shows up that you're a non-member, call the office, 732-741-0055, or email me, director, at emacc.org. And I will correct all that, because I am sure you have not entered every single member into your database. Yeah, probably not. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so it may come up that way, so mm -hmm. we would have to. Um, yeah, get that set so they're not overpaying. Cool. Fabulous. All right, I think yeah. that's our show. It's the show. It's our yeah, show. It was yeah. really fun being in the hot seat. I know. Thank you guys for having me. Oh, You're so pleasure, welcome. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for being here. It was fun. Yeah. Thank you to our listeners, our subscribers in particular. We love you so much. Um, like seriously. Mm. Thank you to New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance Group, the official sponsor of the show. They do home auto and workers comp, so check them out. And finally, thank you to Jennifer Eka from the Eastern Monmouth Area Chamber of Commerce. We are so thrilled that you were able to be here today. Oh, thank you. It was so much fun. It really, fun. really was. And wait, where can they find your podcast? Oh, you can find oh. our podcast on our website. Um, we have a special page. You just go to podcast. You can listen to any one of them. It's also on all the normal. Oh, I just banged my cup. No, that's um, <laughs> Uh, the it's listed on all the normal channels. I, I believe it's iTunes, SoundCloud, um, 
right? SoundCloud is where SoundCloud, SoundCloud yeah, yeah, that's a thing. Um, and uh, a shared universe podcast station. Rock on. Cool. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.